On today's episode of Am I Wearing Pants? Yes, I am. I'd like to start by addressing a few things. This, to be one. Yes, that's cold sore and I have one, so quit staring. Uh, second thing I'd like to address is this giant life-size frame behind me. What we're doing today is making this frame into this frame. I have to go to a bridal shower and I was requested to make a photo frame to hold up in pictures. Oh my gosh, that's you look at me. <laughs> so, I was dumpster diving and I saw somebody had left a bunch of giant paintings from their mega mansion out in the dump. And I said, well dang, that's nice. I think I'm gonna take that. And then I put two and two together and I thought large photo frame gigantic mega frame oh my god let's make a life-size photo frame for this bridal shower okay let's get started okay first things first let's take a closer look at this frame this thing is giant gigantic as you can see the structural integrity of the frame is intact. We've got one little chip in the bottom corner there, but that's no big deal. And you'll see the paint is coming off, but we're taking that off anyway. I just want to show you what people throw away. It's insane. Insanity. And you know what? Their trash is my treasure. To begin this project, I'm going to clean up the back of the frame. I have to take some of the hardware off and there are some staples and nails sticking out that are pretty dangerous, so I'm going to remove those. All right, our frame is clean, and now I've gone and flipped it around so the painted side is facing us because we're gonna be taking off all this stain. You can see it's already chipping, but to get the job done, I'm gonna use this metal bristle brush I bought at Home Depot for $7. And you can see the bristles are really fine, and they just scratch away the surface. They won't dent or damage the actual wood. When we're done, it should just be a nice raw wood frame. Update cam. I went to the hardware store because I didn't like the sanding attachment I was using, so I got this abrasive ball. Remember that time we went to the store to get that sanding ball? <laughs> We've made very slight progress, but it's progress. Also, I keep hitting this fabric, so you know what? I'm just gonna take it off. What's the point, you know? Not that great. Plus it's ultra satisfying to be ripping this out. Oh yeah. See that? Oh yeah. Weekend number two. We're getting started on propping the frame up. What I've done is cut these two by fours into this slotted shape so they'll sit in the frame like so and the legs will hinge up and down from here. I'll show you in a second. Taking the maker cam? 
super close up. Okay. Let's get some BTS and the BTS, BTS. So I had some help from Papa Maker. And what we did here is glued and screwed those wedges in on both sides then fixed a hinge to the wedge and this piece of wood that runs all the way down to another piece that goes across and an identical piece on the other side. So this will be nice and sturdy when it's propped up and when being carted around, it will collapse. Okay, I set up an area to apply a coat of primer. I'm just using this Krylon semi-gloss white paint. I found this in my closet and I just want to get a nice even coat on. It doesn't matter because I'm covering it up with flat white paint afterwards, but this is just to even out the surface that I sanded. So I'll be right back and get this coat on. Update cam. As you can see behind me, the frame is now silver because I ran out of white spray paint. So my primer coat was silver. And here it is! Let me bring you in for a closer look. Close up cam time. There's the final product. Let's take a look see. I finished the wood by sanding a little of the paint off to give it an antique feel, then coated it with a wax seal, which gave it an off-white color. And I truly love that look. Then you'll see I finished the hashtag with <laughs> I finished the hashtag with some floral embellishments and rope. And overall it stands about six feet tall and a little under four feet wide. <laughs> 